What's going on guys? My name is Garrett here on the Jobless Gamers channel and today guys we're going to be talking about how to get a beer hat in GT Online. Now I know a lot of you guys have been having troubles with this and if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you guys drop a like because I do upload daily GTA 5 content, two videos a day and a live stream every single night at twitch.tv slash joblessgamers. Last night I streamed for 11 hours and I'm glad you guys tuned in. There's about a thousand of you guys that tuned in and I had a really really good time. So I did get a beer hat as you guys know I had some troubles of my own getting a beer hat and I finally figured out why I was unable to get one of my own. I simply need to do this so if you guys are having troubles or never seen a special crate drop go ahead press start go to stats then go down to unlocks. Once you arrive to unlocks go down to content and then go all the way down until you see crate drop. As you guys can see it says parachuting ammo drop crate drop and it says unlocked. Now before last night, it actually said locks for me, and it was a really, really big headache for me. I was having a lot of trouble seeing crate drops, and the reason for this is because crate drops were locked, and I wasn't sure why. I did some research, and I was able to come to the conclusion it was because I hadn't done enough missions from Ron. That's right, guys. It's very simple. All you want to do is simply go to your contacts and go ahead and call Ron. Now, you must be able to leave level 12 or 11 to call Ron. You simply want to call him. And once he picks up the phone, you simply want to go ahead and request a job. Once you request a job, he's going to give, I guess, kick back a job for you to do. And you guys are going to see it in one second. Once he does send it any day now, Ron. Come on, Ron. Give me a job. There. So it says fueling flames, as you guys can see right there. So you'd normally you want to go ahead and accept this job. Now, ideally, you're going to do enough missions until he offers you one mission, which is called... Let me go ahead and show you guys. It's called Base Invaders. You want to go to Jobs. You want to go to Host Job. Go to Rockstar Created. Then go to Missions and look for Base Invaders. Now, if this job is here, you should technically have crates unlocked. If for some reason you don't have Base Invaders on your list, then technically then you have the crates locked. And you guys can confirm this in the comments as this is just the research and information I have gathered from my own experiences. Before, when I had the special crates or the crates locked, I did not have the job base invaders. What led me to unlock this was doing jobs from Ron. Then I got a phone call from Trevor letting me know that he had a job for me. He then offered me, I believe it was, um, I th it might have been Crystal, it might, I think it was Crank Up the Volume. I'm not exactly sure which one it was. He offered me a job. Once I finished that job, I then got a text message from Trevor letting me know, hey, that these special crates I'll be dropping all around the map. Make sure you check them out. So that's basically the steps I took to get my hat. Now, once I unlocked the hats, that's when the hard part comes in. Now, of course, you guys do know that these beer hats will be in the game until mid-July. There's no confirmed date when these special crates will stop dropping. There's a lot of confusion from people saying that, oh my god, special crates and crates no longer drop because it was with the event weekend. That is incorrect. As you guys can see on the screen right here, it was in the newswire. Rockstar announced that these crates would be dropping all throughout the Independence Day DLC pack content. So you guys don't have to worry about the you know crates no longer spawning because Special Weekend is over. But this is sort of in your favor because a lot of people actually think that the Special Crates no longer drop and aren't paying attention as much as they did over the weekend. So if you guys can, this is a perfect time for you guys to take that opportunity that people just don't know of that the special crates are still dropping and go for those special crates there'll be a lot less people trying to go for them as the event weekend is over and you guys can have a better chance of getting them as you guys can see i got the piss washer hat and i also received the um the super wet beer hat so i got both of those by obtaining the special crates and yes guys the glitch will work once you do this part of the i guess unlocking the crates because before if you had problems doing the glitch unable to get the crates due to it being locked then it will work if you decide to do the glitch i decided to do it the legit way on the stream and obtain these 100 percent legit so that's just the the route i ended up taking now i'm not unsure if you are able to go ahead and do the glitch if you've never seen a special crate drop so i've heard that the way the glitch works is if you've never seen a special crate drop, but you have the crates unlocked, you will not be able to do the glitch. But if you've seen a special crate drop, once you've unlocked the crates tab, then you will eventually be able to glitch it and get it to work. Everyone that was able to get the glitch to work had once or in another time seen a special crate drop or a crate drop 
thus leading them to being able to glitch it. So it's whatever route you guys decide to take, glitch it or do it legit, both ways are pretty simple if you get the hang of it. I wish you guys the best of luck in obtaining this hat, I guess, because it is a limited time item and will be going away very soon. I personally enjoy my Pisswazer beer hat, and I hopefully you guys will get yours soon as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like. Share it with a friend that you know had problems with getting a beer hat, and hopefully you guys can spread the word. Let's go for a 1,000 like family, and I look forward to seeing you guys later on today or earlier today with a video I uploaded earlier and as well as um, a live stream most likely later tonight. If I can get everything sorted as much as you guys know, I am going to New York this week. I'm leaving on the 10th. I actually going there for a Minecraft convention that was recently canceled, but I already have everything booked. So I'm going to be going over there and I also have a live stream event. I might be taking place in at the Rockstar offices. So very, very cool. So I'll keep you guys informed. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with everything going on in GTA 5, GTA Online, and in my personal life. And I'll see you guys later.